Welcome back to Feature Writing. This week we'll be discussing social media, which for me has been very exciting. Um, when I started as a journalist, I was strictly a print journalist. I didn't think I had to know how to do video or take photos or any of that. I was merely there to write the story. Today, we're backpack journalists and we're expected to do just about everything. And that means everything from sometimes taking our own video and photos to even blogging or writing online columns. There's also in journalism now an expectation that you might be writing for the web in addition to a print publication. And those have different challenges, different audiences, and with that comes different lengths and different ways of telling stories. I really appreciate using social media for areas in research, and I found it to be especially helpful to use it in crowdsourcing. This is a way to ask a lot of people one question and get a lot of input without having to go out and talk to a lot of people. Sometimes it's hard to find the specific person you need. And with this, you can put out a question on Facebook or on Twitter to a large audience and have get immediate feedback. In this class, you'll also be expected to do some blogging. This is not a serious social media writing course. However, I do find blogging to be a good way of journaling and sharing your ideas with other students. A blog should be 400 words or less and should be somewhat creative in terms of writing a headline and include links. It's also helpful in social media to be social. That means asking a question. So at the end of your blogs, I would like you to post questions to your classmates. You, as a journalist, might even be asked to create a podcast. This would mean taking your digital recorded interview and turning it into an online interview. So sometimes people find it a value to be able to listen to the whole interview. And sometimes we are limited in terms of how many words we can use in a story. This is called our news hole. And so for people who want the whole interview, this would be providing them with an option to go online and be able to listen to the entire interview. And so, 10 years ago, this module would never have existed. But now it is crucial to the success of being a journalist and a feature writer. So have fun. We'll learn a lot of new tools this week. And I hope you'll be excited about that. Some of you have already are already very familiar with social media tools, but I'm hoping I can introduce you to a few new tools that maybe you haven't used before, such as Pinterest. So I look forward to seeing your projects this week. And again, if you have any questions or concerns, please remember to contact me.